At 15 weeks, this precocious pup has enough attitude to come up and bite our camera. It's challenging because this guy is like every day is like, okay, I know this. Let's do something else now. Yeah. Oh, is that tasty? Is that tasty? Challenging to keep him fed. An incredibly high metabolism demands the pup be fed round the clock. So volunteers and staff are stepping up, and I also got an invitation. He wants to take it from I know. I won't. I won't. You know, you were new. And sometimes kids test people that they don't know, like, okay, let's see what I can get away with. So some of that was like, I want to see if I can get this bottle away from this, this woman and, and play with it. And now the public can watch all of these otter antics with the orphan pup flourishing in his new digs near the Water's Edge Polar Bear Tunnel. Um, he's kind of learned a relationship with a lot of our trainers and staff. Um, he's a very comfortable otter now because um, he's familiar with the space and where he's living. It is a long way from the Alaska ice where he was accidentally beached and rescued at three weeks of age. His mother and two other otters were lying next to him dead from exposure. Now he has learned the essential otter skill of grooming. Well, some of that he was it learned from his mom. He was around three weeks of age when they found him. So he had enough time to learn some skills from his mother. Some of it's instinct. They just know, hey, I've got to take care of this first. If I don't, I'm going to die. The southerns are smaller. So the northern ones are the biggest. The, the northern sea otters are the, are the largest, yeah. Is it Pacific sea otter? Is that what they yeah, call they're